Time in forms the negative and positive spaces expanding the The words are coming. We can stop. Questions? Okay, so the story that you're working on is about your production in general, not about this exhibition specifically. And he wants to warn you that that's how the questions are going to be. Okay. So you started your work with video in the 70s, and ever since there's been a lot of changes and the video production has augmented hugely. So how do you think about your work with this boom of uh, digital cameras and new technologies? And um, I think he's going to finish the question. In what measure do you think that this democratization changes the way of producing images in art? And right now, video is more democratic. It's a more democratic tool. So he wants to know how do you think that the democratization of video can change and affect the way that we produce images on art? OK, well, you've asked me a lot of questions. So I can take a long time to answer these. And I'm happy, happy to do it, because it's a very big question you're asking me, because there's lots of sub-questions. So, um, there's, there's sort of at least two ways to, 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 uh, to try and talk about this. You know, one is that, um, you know, I began making, as an artist, I, I was making sculpture. And probably when I first started using video, a video camera, you know, this probably wasn't even like uh, at that moment, it wasn't an extension of what I was doing. I was, I, I basically it was like a phenomenon that I was discovering, a, 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 an electronic form that was kind of fantastic, you know, where you could uh, experience things in real time, some sort of, you know, super reality that, that, that uh, you're, you're in at, at the moment that it's happening. And this was a very, uh, I think this was a, a key point for me, but also I think it was a key development of, of uh, not just art, just, just that you know, the world had these tools to look at itself with video, video, television, this kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, of course, that has developed as, as a, you know, as a form, in some sense, you know, we call we call this video art, but I don't really call it that. I don't do video art. Okay, so that's that's a kind of separate discussion. You know, really, aside from this initial uh, you know discovery of the phenomenon, you know, I really made went from making sculpture with welding oxyacetylene to Kind of sculpting with electronics and my body and my speech and language, and by the same token, there there is probably a a thread of video art that maybe even comes out of film. It has to do with image making. It has to do with you know uh, images. And you know, obviously, I, I literally use images, but the focus is not the eye and the image. The focus is, in some sense, language. It's a language that uh, erupts between these mediums: you know, sound, text, uh, image, space, electronics, and this kind of milieu of. of kind of a field of activity creates an event that, you know, I think is worthwhile examining, you know, whatever, uh, you know, uh, something that uh, I'm there, I'm there, I'm open for this event, and I manifest it. Um, so, you know, that's just kind of to give you an idea of my view 
view of video, video art, you know, what, where does this really reside? In some sense, video, along with conceptual art, were sort of the, an, you know, the first anti-mediums. This is, after this point, there are no mediums anymore. It's not like mediums that you, uh, you know, I'm going to learn this meaning to make video, or I'm going to make sculpture, I'm going to make painting, I'm going to make photography. It, it seems much more, these, these meanings allow people to just uh, think about ideas and use what is necessary for, to, to, to develop those ideas. You know, on the other hand, there are very, there are very medium-specific things about electronic tools, and materials that allow for, I, th I think, different kinds of ideas. I mean, for instance, you know, any kind of interactive works that involve uh, something happening in a space in real time is obviously quite different than, you know, say, painting or photograph or what have you. On the other hand, I've, I've heard this described as implicit or explicit, you know, when we look at a painting, is this not interactive? I mean, what, what is it? Is it just a mechanical differentiation between, uh, you know, there's actually something that you push or some sort of something that you do uh, physically that then there's a kind of cause and effect and something happens? Or, you know, is this not happening when we look at a painting? And we're, we, you know, we're interacting with it and we're producing, we're, we're, we're projecting our ideas out into space and other people are getting this in some form, like microscopic butterfly form, what have you. So I don't know if there's any difference in that at all. <laughs> anyway, so the, the d democracy question. Democracy does not make good art. That's <laughs> what I have to say. <laughs> but I think it's great. I mean, you know, I think it's, it's I think, 